In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to control the smaller Dynamic Cell XL Smart Servo with the Dynamic Shield. The XL is one of the newer servos available in Robotis. As you can see, it's much smaller than the original AX and MX series. It also uses a different protocol for communications and has a different, much smaller connector. So if the connector is different from the original servo, then how can we use it with the Dynamic Shield? It only has the original connectors on it. The good news is that while the connector is different, the wiring is still the same. Unfortunately, there's no converter cable available commercially, but it is possible to buy the two end pieces and crimp them and build a wire to convert from one to the other yourself. However, as part of my Kickstarter campaign for the Dynamic Shield, I have a stretch goal of producing these converter cables commercially. I've contacted a major global cable manufacturer and worked out the details to produce the cables. In fact, this is one of the samples that they built for me. It has the small end piece for the XL connection on one end and the original connector for the AX and MX series on the other end. This will allow you to connect up the XL on the one side and then connect it into the regular connector on the, the shield itself. Now that we have the converter cable, it's a simple matter of hooking it up to the dynamic shield. This video assumes that you've already gotten the basic AX servo working. If not, then please follow the instructions in that video first. Now let's load in the Dynamic Cell XL test move sketch from the Dynamic Shield repo. This sketch is very similar to the regular one. The main difference is that it uses a move to command instead of the move speed command. As I mentioned at the beginning, the XL uses a newer protocol than the original AX. I modified a library from Hackerspace for controlling the XL320 and used it here to send movement commands to the servo. For the moment, that command is the only one that works with the XL. It was mostly a test to see if I could get this working correctly with the Dynamic Shield. As part of this Kickstarter, I plan to rewrite the Dynamic Serial class to be optimized to run on the do and to work with the AX, MX, and XL servos. So if enough people are interested in this, then there's still a little bit of work left to do to refactor the control class to work with all of those different servos. But it'll be really cool when it can. Now let's go ahead and connect up the power. One important note here is that the XL runs on 7.4 volts and not the 12 volts like the original AX series. So make sure that you use the correct voltage here to control it. We'll plug it into our dynamic shield so that it can uh, power both the shield and the Arduino. Then we'll connect up the USB cable to our Arduino programming port. Let's make certain that you get the Arduino Do Program Report selected and the correct COM port number. Once you do, let's download the sketch. And now our Excel server begins running. You can see that we can control it with the dynamic shield. In this video, I've shown you how to hook up a Dynamic Cell XL320 servo to the Dynamic Shield and control it using an Arduino Do. If you like the Dynamic Shield, then please support my Kickstarter for it so I can get these boards produced and available for others to use. Thanks for watching.